Hello, I'm Yasser Janab, Interventional Cardiologist in Tehran Heart Center, presenting the case Catheter Directed Thrombolysis and Venous Stenting in Phlegmasia Serulodolans. Our case is a 43-year-old lady with history of oral contraception pill usage. She was referred to our center after injection of 100 mg systemic alteplase due to acute iliofemoral deep vein thrombosis, at severe pain, and edema. After 48 hours of systemic anticoagulation with therapeutic PTT range, left lower extremity deteriorated with severe pain, edema, and discoloration, which was compatible with phlegmasia serolodolans diagnosis. Symptoms of phlegmasia serolodolans can include acute swelling, pain, and cyanosis of the affected extremity. In addition to the high rates of associated limb amputation, Phlegmasia serodolans poses a serious threat to life due to the risk of circulatory collapse and infection, with an estimated mortality rate ranging from 25% to about 40%. This results in obstruction of the venous drainage and rise in the compartmental pressure, which in turn compression arterial blood flow. So, we should keep in mind that delaying treatment may result in death or loss of the patient's limb. They should be considered for more aggressive management, usually thrombolysis and or thrombectomy. Early thrombus removal strategies in the setting of phlegmasia are a grade 1a recommendation, which suggests pharmacomechanical over catheter thrombolysis alone if resources are available. Otherwise, catheter thrombolysis can be done safely. Venography and catheter directed thrombolysis. The patient was sent to cat lab. She had prone position. Six French sheet in left popliteal vein under echo guidance. In cat lab, it was shown that there was partial occlusion of left popliteal vein and femoral vein, complete occlusion of common femoral vein, external iliac vein, and common iliac vein. Perfusion catheter from common femoral vein to inferior vena cava was placed. After about 40 hours of catheter directed thrombolysis, the patient was sent back to cat lab. In repeat venography, there was recanalized common femoral vein, external iliac vein, but still occluded left common iliac vein. Predilation with 40 mm balloon was done. But there was still occlusion or severe stenosis of left common iliac vein, which was compatible with May Turner syndrome. After that, sinus venous stent 16 mm was deployed from osteal of left common iliac vein to external iliac vein. And you can see the final result. which is very good final result. In summary, phlegmasia serodolans is acute swelling, pain, and cyanosis of extremity due to acute iliofemoral thrombosis. Aggressive management like catheter-directed thrombolysis and thrombectomy can save limbs and reduce mortality in this catastrophic syndrome. Thanks for your watching.